Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiat is visiting Tokyo to speak at a major conference on the future of Asia tomorrow. During his three-day trip, he'll also meet Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and Japan's finance and foreign ministers, as well as key business leaders. And Brandon Tanoto has more. This trip comes after Mr. Heng Sui Kiat's first trip after becoming DPM earlier in the month to Switzerland and more recently his eight-day trip to China and Hong Kong. Now this will be his first official visit to Japan after his new appointment. The Nikkei Future of Asia conference which will be held at the Imperial Hotel Tokyo right behind me will see political and economic leaders from the Asia Pacific region coming together to discuss regional issues as well as the role of Asia in the world. Now the conference is in its 20th fifth year and has been held annually since 1995. Now this is not the first time DPM Heng is present at the conference. Now he had attended it last June with then Deputy Prime Minister Teo Chi Hien. The theme of this year's conference will explore how Asian countries and companies should react in the face of global uncertainties like the US-China trade tensions and the rise of protectionism. In fact, these are issues Mr. Heng spoke about at great length during his recent trips. In Shenzhen, Mr. Heng said Singapore is prepared for the negative consequences that may arise from a protracted trade war between China and the US. Besides having monetary and fiscal policy to counter any cyclical downturns, he stressed that Singapore, however, needs to ensure that its economic transformation takes place at an even faster pace. And in Shanghai, Mr. Heng said Singapore hopes China and the US can develop a relationship based on cooperation that is to cooperate in mutually beneficial areas while competing. He also mentioned that countries must strengthen international cooperation in areas of common concern to achieve win-win outcomes, as no one country has all the resources and expertise it needs. And amid the wave of technological changes that are making some jobs obsolete, Mr. Heng highlighted in Switzerland that political leaders must protect workers, not jobs, by putting people at the centre of what they do because the goal is not to pursue economic growth or innovation for the sake of it, but rather to improve the lives of the people and workers. All in, Mr. Heng also stressed the importance of maintaining a rules-based multilateral trading system through trade agreements like the Trans-Pacific Partnership and the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. Brendan Tanoto, CNA, Tokyo.